There's no reason for me to do this except to entertain you. Here I have a can of sardines. Today I'm going to eat these sardines. I don't even know why I'm doing this. So if you are new to the channel, this is Hey Jay Eats. This is where I like to... Well, I'm Hey Jay. And then this is where I like to bring some food that I've never heard of or, just, or, 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 or maybe I've heard of it, but I've never tasted it. And then we taste it, we have fun, we try things, and sometimes it's gross. I've never intentionally brought something I know I don't like on this show just to eat it for sake of entertainment. So this, this episode doesn't even make sense on this channel. It's Hey Jay Eats Things that he's curious about. I am not curious about sardines. And I really don't want this channel to, to degrade into, let's just feed Hey Jay gross things and watch him squirm. But for whatever reason, I said I'd do it. And now here we are. I bought this can at the beginning of the pandemic because I'm like, if there's any time to eat something nasty, I might as well do it when the world is falling apart. That was now six months ago. And here it is, some Brunswick sardines in, a, in, in soya oil. I don't even know. Do you know how hard it is to shop for sardines when you don't know if what the hell you're doing in the sardine aisle? Like, first of all, there's fish everywhere. And you're like, what am I doing with my life? And then there's these... There's so many colors. It's There's more sardine variations than Kit Kats, and that makes no sense. Thinking about Kit Kats, it's helping me prepare to, for, for this. So you have like sardines with, with pepper, sardine with lemon, sardine with your mother. Like there's sardines with everything. How do you know what to pick? So I, I picked the one that looked the most like regular, I guess, and it's Canadian. So I'm like, if I'm gonna, I'm gonna be patriotic with my with my thing here. Now, here's the twist. I know there's a lot of talking. I am really trying to stall here. The twist is, I remember as a child, I used to like sardines. I used to eat sardines with my dad. And I don't know what happened, but somewhere along the way, I stopped eating sardines with my dad. I stopped eating fish for the most part. So I don't remember what this tastes like. I know the smell is horrible. I'm hoping that somewhere in my genetic code, my body still remembers that I like eating this and it's going to be actually an enjoyable experience rather than a my nightmare come together. I'm really not looking forward to this. I don't want to gag. I know how I know how gross this is. So let's <laughs> getting nervous. Um, the packaging. What is the point of all this plastic? For a can. I have to say, I've seen these cans in video games and in, in films, and um, there's nothing quite like a sardine can. And I have to say, it's a fine piece of ingenuity and human engineering. <clears throat> so here it is. Like, it's served like a plate. What other food can you get that you just peel it open and there it is? You just eat out of it. I even brought my happy mug <laughs> to try to bolster my mood. So here we go. Here we go, we open the tab. Now, if I can survive this episode, we're gonna have to do sardines from around the world and see which country has the, has the best sardines because I'm a masochist like that. Oh, there's a lot of sardines. There's three pieces of fish in there. There it is. A beautiful, Beautiful presentation. Oh, there's a lot of oil coming out of that. There's that smell. A smell of... Okay, it is hitting a little bit of my like, nostalgia notes. I am remembering. Ugh. Ugh. It's clashing with my modern like distaste of the sea and anything that smells like the harbor. And then a part of it smells like childhood. Now... I seriously don't remember how to eat a sardine. I remember there being heads. Maybe that's anchovies. I wonder what the difference between an anchovy and a sardine is when it comes to taste. Really, I don't remember. Or I don't care to know. Um, so there it is. You see the skin. You see the meat. It looks like three pieces. How big is... Um, how big is... 
What am I eating? Sardines. How big is a sardine fish? There, I really shouldn't look at this. There's like the bone and everything in there. <clears throat> and there's the skin and the meat. I should not have looked. I should not have looked. Like, look at that. Does that look appetizing to you? Does it smell appetizing to you? I've, I've stalled for five minutes on this episode. I thought this was going to be a three minute episode. And I've just rambled on for five minutes. Ugh. Oh, it smells so nasty. But it's psychological. Remember, guys, the human brain, the human brain makes things worse than it is. You can perceive the worst things in life to be <laughs> getting all philosophical. Anyways, if you think it's not that bad, it's not that bad. That's the lesson here. Moral of the story is, if I think that this smells like Kit Kats and it's going to taste like Kit Kats, it's going to be delicious Kit Kats. So let's have this delicious New Brunswick Canadian Kit Kat in my mouth right now. It's dripping. My Kit Kat is dripping. Okay. I've got the texture. But as long as I don't think about the bad thing, I won't gag. It, oh, it's fighting. There's, there's some fishiness to it. The meat aspect of it the, the texture is like, um, what am I even doing with my life right now? I'm reviewing freaking sardines on camera. It's not as salty as I expected it to be. It's, um, it's, it's not as, it's not like, well, there's the fish aftertaste. I was going to say, it's not as fishy as I think it should be. When you look at this, when you smell it, it feels like you're just going to lick the, the most saltiest, fishy thing ever. But when you put it in your mouth, it's almost this is almost like a sea pepperette. You know, like the, the dried sausage? It's like a sea pepperette without the sea. Like I feel some of the Japanese snacks I've had have tasted far more... Um, Oh yeah, I hate looking at this. <laughs> have taste have tasted far more like seafoody. Um, this it's not so bad. The aftertaste, no, oh, the aftertaste is kind of gross. All right, we did one bite, and there's two parts of me fighting over like, oh, I can do this, and another part like, oh, oh what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, there's another bite. I'm just gonna see if it's different here. I really want to cry. A little part of me wants to cry. <laughs> All right. So here's another thing I like about fish. This is the weirdest thing I thought. I never thought I would say that. <laughs> you know when you eat steak, pork, chicken, anything? There's the meat and then there's the fat. And I know some people like fat, but most people don't like fat. I don't really like fat on its own. Because I don't like the, the chewy chewiness of the fat. You know when you got like... You're eating your meat and all of a sudden there's like someone throws gum in your mouth, but that, it's not gum, it's it's just fat and you're just chewing on it and then it's hard to swallow. Um, fish fat is very smooth and it doesn't create the chewiness. So fish is the superior meat when it comes to its fat. And uh, this isn't, this is the most unappealing thing I've ever eaten. Like I can see the spine of whatever of this thing. Oh, I think the point is you're not supposed to look at it. All right, here we go. This is bite two, and I think we're done after this. Oh, oh I bit on the bone. Oh. I actually felt the spine collapse in my mouth. But it's not like a bone. There's no crunch, and I like that. I do not want crunch when I'm eating fish. It, it was just like a... It was almost like chewing on sand. Have we chewed on the sand before? So I think the reason people would eat this is really for the texture. Because even though I see the, the skin, there's no sliminess, there's no chewiness, there's no crunch. All of the unpleasant things that are found in other foods are not necessarily found here. The texture is actually quite nice. The texture is good. 
I'm gonna hate editing this video because I know my face is doing a lot of talking. Um, the the flavor is not so good, but it it could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. And I'm sure that there's some sardines from around the world that are pretty good. So, my recommendation is if your career is about sardines and you think you can get by the smell, the, the whatever I picked, the soya water, I think that's what it's called. It's a good start because I think it's the can and, and the liquid that it is sub submerged in. Ah, breathing hard. Um, I think that's what makes it I think that's what adds the flavor. I think the sardine really adopts the flavor of whatever it is that you put in the can. Look at look at this beautiful. I, I can still like admire this. Look at that beautiful piece of the fish. But it's um <clears throat> yeah. Oh yeah. Why did I do that? Would I buy another can? Yeah. No. No, I would not. Would I eat this if it was available somewhere? No. If I was starving and there wasn't, you know, sardines are fairly cheap. If that's all there was to eat, I would eat it. I can eat sardines. That is what we've discovered today. I can still eat sardines and not puke. It's a little bit more enjoyable of an experience than I expected, but enjoyable is, is relative. Um, I've, I think there are worse foods out there. And I would definitely pick sardines over a lot of those worst foods. When it comes to this channel, it's probably the worst food I've ever had on this channel so so far today. So I don't know what I'm gonna call this video. Maybe it's gonna be like, can Hey J eat sardines? The answer is yes, he can. He can eat them and, and he can keep them down. <laughs> so thank you for joining. I'm done with my first challenge. Let me know if there's any other gross things you think I should taste or eat, I'm, I'm not just gross things, things that are meant for, for regular consumption because I could I could put this food out in the sun and spoil it and that would be gross and you'd be like, eat that. No, I'm, I would only eat things that are sold in stores because there are people out there that would eat them. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. I'll probably do more of these, not that often. And otherwise, um, if you like the video, be sure to check out the other stuff because I, I actually eat nice things on this channel that you might discover and want to order for yourself and try for yourself. So until those next videos, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next challenge. Till then, keep it snacky.